Just opposite the Ministry of Human Services, vagrants have checked in and were making themselves comfortable in broad daylight on the pavement just outside the former GNCB building at the junction of Hatfield and Water Streets here in Georgetown. One man even elevated his sleeping area. Added to that, a huge pile of garbage lay exposed waiting to be disposed around the 42 and taxi park and a stone's throw away from the central fire station. When Capital News visited the area, some concerned citizens expressed their dissatisfaction. Anybody could see that they are healthy. There is not a healthy um, environment and then the minister is right over there. They should have been shameful for covering me because they were there, there and look at the garbage here. As in what they do with the taxpayers' money? What are they doing with the taxpayers' money? They want to know what they're doing. What are they do with the taxpayers' money? All these billions of dollars. What have we can we can't see nothing, no improvement. Every Saturday, every Friday afternoon, they got the, the, the market. This come here, the people sell from the market and they also just contribute. And they, when they finish selling, a lot of they, they left all the stuff where they sell, whatever they want, they just left it on the ground just like that. Well, they should, they should have get it clean and or uh, charge the people who come and, and dump the garbage there. There's one person to carry the garbage, the, the, the garbage truck go wrong that way, not here. Vendors around the area said regardless of City Hall's effort to clean the area, garbage is dumped at the weekends. The dumping of garbage continues to plague the Garden City and there are calls from citizens for the authorities to quell this situation. Yannick December, reporting for Capital News.